Today we're checking out Crafter's Square in the Dollar Tree. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bargain Bluebird and a very warm welcome to you if you are here for the very first time today. I have never seen a crafter's square area in a Dollar Tree. The ones by me don't have them yet. So I made a trip down to a different Dollar Tree and I am just loving what I am seeing here. Oh, look at that pack of twine there. All of these buttons and beads and embellishments. Look at this, this is a pack of embroidery thread. This is nice. It looks like this is the only color they have. It doesn't look like they have a different variety and look at this little embroidery hoop of that they have this one here too so here they have this I could use this this is for uh, standing up your paint brushes this pretty color yellow twine here is nice I see they have some crafting clay off to the side there too that's nice little tiny bottles and containers. These are so cute. Oh, clamps for a dollar. They have all sorts of glue and adhesives, glue dots and tape, and scissors. What is this? Oh, that will remove glue residue. I need something like that. So they have these silicon finger tip protectors, piercing and scoring tool. Wow, they have so many things here. Chalk markers. Look at all that glue and Mod Podge. Wow. All right, let's look at the different kinds of paint here. Looks like they have some nice watercolors here. And then they have some oil pastels. Oh, check these out. This is tie-dyed. This is for making tie-dyed shirts for a dollar. These are really nice. Oh, I really like those. I am way too excited about this. I love the glue, litter glue there. Lots of paint brushes. Really good deal on paint brushes, geez. And what kind of paints are these? Paint and sure. Washable paint. I don't know what kind of paint that is. If you know, can you let me know in the comments? Is this the kind that you would use with, with kids? And then I see the tempera paint down here. Also, they have a lot of those too. They have a lot of cool wood pieces here that you can use. Look at the, they have dowels, larger ones, smaller ones. They have all of these cutouts. That would be great for painting or stenciling or mod podging, all sorts of DIYs you could do with these kind of things. Really nice. We got some cubes here and some numbers. Here's a little chalkboard easel and then these chalkboards here with the frames these are real nice too look at this cute giraffe and elephants okay they have some boxes here with some little shapes cut out on the top and then this one is like a box with a lid and it has a house on top they have some knitting needles and then some crochet needles and this one here is aluminum and then these right next to it here are plastic and then they have some galvanized pieces here those metal tags are nice i like those and then some words and then here is some wood carving tools here wow For spring and these are cute here these have like little stands 
also make some nice DIY projects. I have a lot of the galvanized stuff. I really like the tags that were back there. Okay, look at this paper crafters. Here we go. You're a paper crafter. Look at these paper packs. Collar. I have some yarn here. I got some pretty colors in this yarn. I like that green. And then there's kind of a yellow back there that I like. I got some stencil sets here. Oh, they have such a nice variety of things. I like those. So this one here, I wanted to show you the styles on this one. And then they also had one behind it that looked like this. They have some nice stickers here. They have a lot of variety of stickers. Lots of pretty designs here. This one says chalkboard crop stickers. What now, I don't know what, do you just cut this to size the way you need it? I don't know. I suppose that's what you do with that. I don't know that either. Pretty flowers. Oh, look at those. That looks like some movie. I can't say what it is. And then now I'm in the floral section and I do like these vases. I feel like these are new. I don't know. They seem new to me. So other pieces here that they have for DIYing, they have these cotton pieces and the butterflies I've seen before. I am really liking these fabric roses here though. These seem new to me. I think these are real pretty. This would make a nice Valentine's DIY. And then let's see. These are nice too, these decorative moss sets that have the different pieces in them. These seem new. And then they have the regular reindeer moss here. And they have the nautical rope. I have been wanting, that my stores do not carry this. Every time I go in my stores hunting for it, it's never there. Look how much of it they have. They have so much of it here. I'm so glad I have come to this store. I also like this ticking ribbon here. And then next to it, this is kind of like a farm design, like a barn and a cow and some words there. I don't know if you can see that. Fresh, it says fresh. It's cute. And then they have the red truck. And then some of these here, these are kind of the, some of the styles that they always have. And then over here, looks like we have some rainbows and unicorns. This is nice yarn. I really like this here. And they have some limes. Okay, I'm in the frame section and I love these rose gold frames. I think they're so pretty. Somebody just left with a bunch of silver and rose gold balloons. It, it, it looked beautiful. So I like this too. This would make a great DIY. And then I also like this little rustic style with the kickstand in the back frame. You'd clip a little printable on there. That would be nice. They also have this eucalyptus garland and this looks like it might be new to me. And I can't make up my mind if I like this or not. It looks kind of fake, but it looks like it might be good for a DIY or paired with some other greenery. All right, there are a few Easter items here. Iridescent trees, this is a glitter drape. It looks like you could put it on your window or on your fireplace. And they come in these various colors that you see here. They've got some of the ribbon in. And then they have these plastic containers. This one has a pink cap on it. And this one here has a silver cap on it. Yellow gingham, that's cute. And the blue one here. I really like that yellow gingham. I feel a yellow tear tray coming up in my future. 
We got some craft items here. And some paint sets, and some wood pieces to color. There's a nice container. I think this is in the wrong spot, this one. I kind of like the shape of that one. I'm really liking these gold eggs. Did they have these last year or are these new? I can't remember, but I kind of like those. And of course they have the little carrots. Those are always a big hit for doing DIYs. And then they have these little pom-pom kits. And then they have all the colorful egg styles here. All right, I am back home and here is my haul. Uh, first of all, from the Crafters Square, I did pick up some more paintbrushes. I mean, five paintbrushes in here for a dollar, can't beat that. I do not crochet, but it's something that I would like to try. And so I picked up the aluminum crochet hook that I showed you in the video. And then I got some of this cream colored thread, um, yarn, sorry, not thread. I have been looking for these ribbons here. These look like uh, farmhouse style, those like ticking style. I was real excited to see that they had these. And so I was really glad to find a store that had them. I picked up a couple of these clay pots here because I actually want to paint a larger pot and I'm wondering about colors. So these are two for a dollar. I just picked up a couple of these um, to practice on really for a larger pot I want to do. I ended up grabbing this cute little container with the gingham yellow top. I'm going to use that on a tiered tray later on, I think, in the season, more towards summer. And then I did pick up this nice stencil here. I thought this was really nice and I think that I might be able to use this possibly with my pot painting I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm not sure. And then I picked up this little frame with the clip with the kickstand in the back because I like that and I'm probably going to use that for some. I'm probably maybe going to print off some graphics and put that in there clip it on. I got a couple of these white colored or lighter colored ropes because I never see them in my store near me. And so I picked up a couple of those. And then the last thing that I got was this beautiful um, like wall. These are wall stickers, wall adhesives. And I literally do not know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm going to do something with it, some kind of DIY or something, because I just think it's so pretty. And so those are the items that I picked up when I went to the Dollar Tree with the Crafters Square. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment if you have anything to add or anything maybe that I missed in this video that you can help with or know better than me or can help some of the viewers out there. Otherwise, uh, that's it for today and I will see you in the next video.